go against public indoctrination, well, you're going to get censored. We're going to get into the full details, guys. Before I go any further, I got to give a couple special shout outs here. One going out to Hal, who recently became a $10 patron here at the channel. Thank you so much, Hal, for that support. And also David, who became a $5 patron. Thank you as well, my friend. You guys are awesome. And for those of you watching me, if you would like to help support the channel, what I do here, you can do so over at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 20 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on Patreon. Unlike YouTube, where you will not be alerted for all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys like me. So when you get done watching me here, browse back, check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe. And I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, what am I talking about here? Public indoctrination. Well, you know, who would do that? Oh, oh, Twitter. That's right. They would do that. You see, if the real science goes against, well, public indoctrination, of course, then we need to remove those tweets. We can't have those on the platform of Twitter. And that includes Dr. Scott Atlas, who is a member of the White House Corona Task Force, who earlier today put out a tweet saying that Face masks do not work against the corona. That's right. This is a doctor. Dr. Scott Atlas said this. They do not work against helping stop corona. He cited several sources for this as well. So it wasn't just like he was just putting out this random tweet saying this. He cited many sources that said the exact same thing. He said, look, as far as wearing the mask goes, he said, for those who are in the risk category, those who are elderly, those who have, you know, other, you know, other conditions, other, you know, health issues, then for those people, sure, have them wear it as a precaution. But for those who are younger, especially for those who were, you know, kids in school, you know, teenagers, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, even 50s, you know what, you're not in the risk category, you know, it just, you know, kind of spread out a little bit. If you're going to be around a bunch of people, just, you know, do a little distancing, but not even so much to the point where, you know, they're really pushing it right now, where they don't, where they're having people in bubbles for crying out loud. If you guys missed that video, I did about the flaming lips, go back and check it out. That's something else. So that's all he put out here. And what did Twitter do? Oh, it was flagged and then removed because you see that was misleading information. And then he also had the nerve to talk about the fact that lockdowns are ineffective and harmful when going against this as well. He said, you have to be smart, obviously, but letting this thing control you, trying to control the public, keep them in this mask. We know that's what the liberals are doing. You see it especially in the blue states like New York, in California, in Illinois, in New Jersey, many others as well that are now implementing brand new lockdowns. And of course, not surprising that we're getting so close to the election here. But Dr. Scott Atlas even said, he's like, why did they even, you know, why did they remove my tweet? Well, we know that Twitter is in the censorship business. This is going to continue. I mean, this is, I think this is going to get really bad, especially if by some chance, and God forbid this happened, Biden became the president You can just forget any sort of, not just conservative speech on Twitter, but just any true facts in general that goes against the authoritative left in any way, shape, or form. You are not allowed to contradict what it is that they want you to believe. Well, you're going to be taken down. So I expect uh, a mass exodus from Twitter if, God forbid, like I said, Biden and Harris were to come into power. But this is sad. And again, it shows you this is a member of the White House Corona Task Force for crying out loud. This isn't just some random person here. But then again, they sent to the president of the United States. So Twitter doesn't really care who you are at the end of the day. One thing I can tell you that these masks need to come to an end. It's absolutely ridiculous. You want to talk about mask fatigue, especially for those businesses that have now been given a green light to go ahead and fully open. Even in in some cases, some areas, some red states have even dropped their mask mandates, but some businesses are holding on tight to them because of the fear that's being perpetrated by who? The media, of course, and other Democrat politicians. It's like these places don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to believe. They just figured, you know, just leave the mask on. We, we can't risk it. God forbid you come in here and shop without that mask on. You might spread this thing to everybody. And it's really sad to see. What do you guys think, though? You can let me know down below in the comments section. I'll put some more information for you in the description Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.